Hi everyone, it's Brian. In this video, I wanted to review the book Men of Mathematics by E.T. Bell. This one was actually recommended to me by one of the students that I tutor. He was really interested in learning the history of math. And if you're interested in learning more about the history and how things came to be, this would be a really cool book to check out. Um, most of the time in your math classes, obviously you're learning math, you're learning mathematics, but uh, and they, they throw around all the names like Gauss and Euler and whoever else it might be at the time. But you don't really know anything about those people themselves, although you hear their names very often. And this book here pretty much, well, answers that question. I think this was written close to maybe 80 years ago, so it is an old book. But uh, obviously it's still as true as the day it was written. Um, if you just look in here briefly we can see the contents talks about every famous mathematician more or less since the beginning of math so starts off by talking about Zeno who is a really really old mathematician um, Archimedes one of arguably the greatest mathematicians ever and then moves up to a little bit more recent times talking about like Descartes is a big one, Fermat, Pascal, Newton, Leibniz, Laplace, Lagrange, Euler, the Bernoulli family, Gauss, Cauchy, Galois, Jacobi, every famous mathematician you could have thought is probably in here. Riemann, Poincaré, Viotras. Um, and it, it tells more or less the brief history of their life, all the famous things they did and their mathematical accomplishments. So I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not totally through it yet, but I just wanted to share this book so much. Um, it's really, really cool. I'm learning a lot of stuff that I never knew. Like uh, you, you finally figure out who you might have to thank for all the stuff, all the math that you're learning or maybe uh, be mad at for all the math you're learning, I don't know. Uh, but just simple things like, I, uh, for some reason I didn't put the two and two together that uh, Rene Descartes made Cartesian coordinates. Huh? It makes sense when you think about it, but uh, I, <laughs> it didn't cross my mind before. The one thing I'll say about this is this is not a short book. This is just under 600 pages. Right? So it's sort of a commitment if you decide you want to read the whole thing. And they're not really easy pages to read. They're pretty thick pages, too. <laughs> um, it's not an expensive book. It's a paperback. You can get it on Amazon for probably maybe 20 bucks new, 10 bucks used, if I had to guess. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description if you're interested in checking this one out a little bit more. Overall, it's a really cool book. It's a really interesting uh, take on a math book, because usually when you have a math book, you're learning mathematics, but this time you're learning about the men of mathematics. So if you're interested in some of the history behind math, definitely check this one out. And hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope it gave you a new idea of a book to read if you're interested. Thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind, and have an awesome day. Bye.